Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a 14 by 14 inch canvas, some Sherwin-Williams eggshell paint, a few paint chips that need to go away, 14 by 14 inch canvas, some paint standing by ready to go, my favorite new swipe card, cleaned with Goo Gone so that the label residue would finally go away. And it looks like I'm right down to the end. It's time to fill that up again. I like to have a layer of paint around the outside edge so that the puddle of paint in the middle will flow to it. I tried to curtail my painting today. I tried to decide to take a day off, but these colors just got in my head and I wanted to do it. I am a scoop and drag junkie, honestly. I recommend scoop and drags. There's swipe, scoop, drag, and spins in reality. And I'd like to see how fast I can do this because I'm it's way too close to dinner time for me to it's better to be, be forgiven than to ask permission, I think I, is the phrase that comes to mind. Alright, so I've got a fairly even layer of paint and that's going in the bucket. Now I have to choose whether I'm going to put stuff on on a swipe card, which I really could, and I haven't done that before. I've put it on palette knives, so I've got, I might as well say right up front, I've got orange peel, which is a primary element, with some golden sparkle in it. I've got some, a little bit of frosted berry. I've got the color that's my main objective, which is Rhapsody Rose with primary element, indigo violet, prism pour, breathing okay, and uh, some jasmine primary element, as well as golden product quinacridone nickel azo gold, which is not coming out very well, not breathing. I think I'm also going to indulge myself in a little bit of gold first because I like using this Indian Spice which is a prism pour and then to be followed by I'll tell you what I'm just going to give it a go I'm going to take the top right off the quinacridone Nicolazo gold might be a lot. That might take over everything actually. And I'm going to use the jasmine. The indigo violet. That indigo violet makes me want to use some turquoise I have some sparkling aqua. That seems to be what I've got. I was looking for the mystique, but I'm not seeing it. Let's just throw a little sparkling aqua in there. Yeah, that's pretty. And what else have I got? I've got the frosted, frosted berry. Did I actually put <laughs> the orange peel in? It looks a lot like, it looks identical, in fact, to the quinacridone Nicolaise of gold, but I'm sure it's not. All right, this is a relatively s simple color palette, and I don't know what's going to happen. You know what? I almost forgot the Rhapsody Rose. <laughs> wow. Numb. I knew there was a color missing, but I wasn't sure what it was. That's the Rhapsody Rose. That was my main objective. So let me take my black cell activator, my white cell activator, look for the card that I had right here. Think about boom gel. I've got pearlescent violet and I've got also got pearlescent teal. 
and I like to use them in combination. I'm going to use the black cell activator, which is Amsterdam black and Aussie Floetrol, and the white together. And then I'm going to do, whoops, I'm going to do half and half. Half teal, half violet, well, sort of half. Usually you lose everything around the edge, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now, if I want something else, I've got this small acetate card, and I thought I might. I thought about using some Mayan gold. Throw that in the bucket. Whoops. Now I've grabbed my two palette knives that I like to use to scoop and drag. Try and pull up so I can release. I keep forgetting to tip. But I think if I try hard, I might be able to remember now that I've said that. Pull up, break the seal. I like crossing over. I like making S-curves. I've wanted to use these colors for a while. Slow down so that I can keep some of the cells. I'm trying really hard not to cover things I think are really pretty. Because once they're covered, they're pretty much out of commission. And you've got to slow down. Hopefully I'm not blocking everything. Break the seal. I will probably also do what I like to do, which is to use a skewer. Also, occasionally steal paint from one spot and put it in another. Sort of like, don't want to dribble. Sort of like that. That worked pretty well. And if you tend to scrape down to canvas, make sure you go back and cover it. It's unusual that I got a bunch of cell activator. Almost ready. It's almost time. That's nice, there's a little bit of that Indian spice showing. Time to get out the skewer and get ready to spin. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to borrow some paint from next to that. I'm looking for large areas that will turn into larger areas. I like that white, but do I like it enough to keep it? That was bad. I dribbled. I 
probably won't keep anything at the edges, so I might as well just keep moving. I'm hoping some of that quinacridone nickel azo gold will spin out. Get my tweezers out of the way. I might need them actually. I don't think I need to tip, but let's do it anyway. All right, here goes nothing. Oh yeah, that's gonna be tremendous. I might even wanna slow down so I don't ruin what I love or what I see that I love. No, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a spiral. That's so cute. Oh, I'm loving this. Another little spiral there. Never hurt anything. Um, I do have acetate tools. I am inclined to go ahead. Maybe I'll do one more spin slowly. I'm so bad at slow spins. So I've got these acetate tools and there is a tutorial video. But the one thing that they're really, really good at is picking up paint that's fallen down and then you being able to use it because you're sort of using it upside down. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you guys I love you. Thank you for being here. You inspire the heck out of me. That is going to go away right now. I'll probably be doing this for a few minutes because I did leave some spaces around the edge. But I had a smaller than usual puddle so I'm confident that I will dry without any crack cracking. So you basically butt your paint layer up to the canvas above the, the place that you want it to cover and then you let it fall down like a little curtain. I love Rhapsody Rose. It might be my new favorite color. And I'm pretty well covered with every Yep, I'm very close to being covered. I'm going to shimmer this at you guys. I'm going to hit it really quickly with a torch. Oh, that's exciting. I really love this. I know it's not conventional to hit things with a torch when they have house paint, but I've been doing it for a while now and it doesn't seem to be a problem. I'm really happy I bothered to do this. Let me give you a shimmer. Oh, that's going to be pretty. <laughs> I like it. Do I have anything I want to get rid of? Maybe we'll put one more spiral right in there. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Let me grab my, my step ladder. Oh, I see one more spot I've got to cover on my edge. That was fun. Thank you for joining me. I have over 30 lists of 100 videos. You can find them by going to playlists, all playlists, created playlists on my channel. Thank you for the donations through Patre uh, PayPal. Uh, the icon's on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. Thank you for everybody who's joined the membership. I have over 110 videos dedicated to Members Only Library. I think that might be my favorite way, so I'll turn that way toward you. We got very very beautiful combination of colors that I'm extremely happy with. I am still inclined to give myself the odd spiral though. <laughs> Can't help it. It's my nature. All right. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com if you want to reach me for purchasing an artwork or inquiring about a private lesson at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. My paint pouring recipe is underneath show more. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for your comments to keep my morale boosted. And check my Amazon link on the link tree for um, volumes one and two of my books because I can in unlimited possibilities. Look for the color art coupon code for 20% off and the pixel paint designs coupon code for 10% off underneath show more. Pixel paint designs has the Aussie flow troll and the Boom Gel and Pevio Paints. Color Art has Prism Pores, Primary Elements, uh, Blingets, and Vivid, in uh, Vivid Intense Acrylics. Anyway, so if I've forgotten anything, you'll find it all on that link tree, including my website, 
websites until it until the second one's gone. <laughs> Pixels.com, Find It America, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Society6, Le Gallerist, Clothing Made in Montreal, by the way, Oliver Prince, and Spring Clothing is below the video. So if you can't find what you're looking for, make a mention of it to me, and I will add what you are interested in to lines of whatever. I do like these big swaths of color here. So, I hope you guys take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I'll say goodbye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery saying, I'm really glad I did that. Thank you for being here. I'll see you in non. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you have questions, feel free to ask. Bye for now. Priscilla out.